Palmitoylation, Wikipedia article audio. Palmitoylation is the covalent attachment of fatty acids, such as palmitic acid, to cysteine, and less frequently to serine and threonine residues of proteins, which are typically membrane proteins. The precise function of palmitoylation depends on the particular protein being considered. Palmitoylation enhances the hydrophobicity of proteins and contributes to their membrane association. Palmitoylation also appears to play a significant role in subcellular trafficking of proteins between membrane compartments, as well as in modulating protein-protein interactions. In contrast to prenylation and meristoylation, palmitoylation is usually reversible. The reverse reaction is catalyzed by palmitoyl protein thioesterases. Because palmitoylation is a dynamic, post-translational process, it is believed to be employed by the cell to alter the subcellular localization, protein-protein interactions, or binding capacities of a protein. The palmitoilome In synaptic plasticity an example of a protein that undergoes palmitoylation is hemagglutinin, a membrane glycoprotein used by influenza to attach to host cell receptors. The palmitoylation cycles of a wide array of enzymes have been characterized in the past few years, including HRAS, GS-alpha, the beta-2 adrenergic receptor, and endothelial nitric oxide synthase. Another example is the major signaling protein WNT, which is modified by a palmitoly oil group at a serine. This is a type of oacylation and is mediated by a membrane-bound oacyl transferase. In signal transduction via G protein, palmitoylation of the alpha subunit, prenylation of the gamma subunit, and meristoylation is involved in tethering the G protein to the inner surface of the plasma membrane so that the G protein can interact with its receptor. A meta-analysis of 15 studies produced a compendium of approximately 2,000 mammalian proteins that are palmitoylated. The highest associations of the palmitoylome are with cancers and disorders of the nervous system. Approximately 40% of synaptic proteins were found in the palmitoilome. Scientists have appreciated the significance of attaching long hydrophobic chains to specific proteins in cell signaling pathways. A good example of its significance is in the clustering of proteins in the synapse. A major mediator of protein clustering in the synapse is the postsynaptic density protein PSD95. When this protein is palmitoylated it is restricted to the membrane. This restriction to the membrane allows it to bind to and cluster ion channels in the postsynaptic membrane. Also, in the presynaptic neuron, Palmitoylation of SNAP25 directs it to partition in the cell membrane and allows the snare complex to dissociate during vesicle fusion. This provides a role for palmitoylation in regulating neurotransmitter release. Palmitoylation of delta catenin seems to coordinate activity dependent changes in synaptic adhesion molecules, synapse structure, and receptor localizations that are involved in memory formation. Palmitoylation of jefferin has been reported to influence GABRGIC synapses.